All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Mills and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And first and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and many other false names. His only true name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. And Bahasham, meaning in the name, Ba and Ha Da Sham name, which is the only way to get to the Heavenly Father, which is through his only begotten Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and many other false names. His only true name is Yahweh Shai which means he saves or he delivers. And that only pertains to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, no matter what you believe, and you speckled birds that may look like the other nations, but your seed line, meaning who your father is, goes back to a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, which that will make you a biblical Hebrew Israelite by blood, according to Numbers 1 and verse 18. And the Rakha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Rakha Spirit, Kodash, Holy which is how we are able to do these lessons, go out on the highways and byways, and ultimately do the will of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. It's all done through the Rakhah Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Angels. And today we want to, we want to get into this quick lesson, and we're going to title it "Sin No More." Mm -hmm. All right, and um, you uh, you you could start with this first stand. John. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. So um, just going in the lesson, this First John two and one, it says, "My little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not." Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell you, uh, it's First John three and four. It says, "Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." That's right. So we're going back to this First John two and one. My little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not. So you don't trespass or go against God's word, right? It says, "And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the righteous." So when we do fall short, because that's where that word was bound to happen. We're in these chains of darkness, this flesh in which wars against the spirit and wants to do what's wrong, right? So when we fall short, we have the blood of the Lord to cover us, you know, mm -hmm. but our intent isn't set on sinning, right? It says, and he is the propitiation, the appeasing or atonement for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Speaking of the nation of Israel, right. it says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Mm. And as we're going to get into a people that claim they know the Lord or they love the Lord, well, we can tell who really does because those that do love the Lord, they're going to do what's commanded to them. To the best of their abilities, they're going to fight the good fight of faith, fight this flesh, fight the uh, that war against, uh, war, that uh, inward temptation to sin. Yeah. You see, you got Christians that say, oh, we know the Lord, we know God, but they don't, but they do everything contrary to the word. Mm -hmm. That's why the uh, the elders crowned them the Antichrist or Anti-Messiah, man. You see? Right. Uh, it says, he that saith, I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Mm -hmm. But whoso keep of his word and him verily is the love of the most high perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. You see, so those, so for the prophets, the true men of the Lord, the body of believers that to the best of their ability strive to do what is right, we we can uh, boldly say that we do know the Lord, man. And it's, um, it's manifested in, in our everyday life. We're not going out uh, doing the things of this world. We're not going out uh, stealing, killing, yeah. uh, committing adultery, smoking weed, murdering one another. We're not doing these things. Why? Because that's what the word of the Lord says. Yeah. It says, he that saith, he abideth in him, ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. Mm -hmm. So if you claim to be a follower of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then you're going to walk even as he did. The scriptures say that he's the end sample to follow who did no sin. That's right. You see? Con. And I'm going to get this. Uh, you got some Tazwa? Well? Yeah. yeah. Con, you write that real quick. No, mm -hmm. I have what the brother quoted. Con. This first Peter 2. And That's weird, man. I go to 21. Let's we'll start to the point of 1 Peter 2 and 21. For, it says, For even here in two were ye called, because Mashiach also suffered for us. And we don't use this C word right here. That's an idol. Mm -hmm. All right. If you would actually put this in English, it would be Messiah, where they get, um, um, Slago. They get Messiah from the Hebrew word Mashiach. Right. So it says, Also, Slago, Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example. 
that ye should follow his steps. Mm -hmm. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judge of righteously. So the Lord Yahweh Shai left that perfect example that we have to follow, man. And our hey, the brother said, we're not going to do it perfectly, but we have that guideline. We have the blueprint to follow, man. And we're going to upheld that standard to the best of our ability, man. That's what we yearn for. See, these niggas, they yearn to smoke a blunt. Yep. They yearn to have sex with another man's wife. It says they have uh, pleasure in doing, well, it says they have pleasure in righteousness. It also says that they uh, have pleasure in doing these things and, and seeing other people do it as well. Yeah. So these niggas desire dystopia. They desire to forward the kingdom of Esau, Edom. We desire to forward the kingdom of the Lord. That's right. Well, let's skip over to the fourth chapter real quick. <clears throat> this first mm -hmm. Peter 4 and 1 says, For as much then as Hamashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Sure. All right. So Yahweh Shah suffered in the flesh, man. He didn't go and uh, go to his to his temptations. To please the flesh. Yeah, to please the flesh. He didn't go and, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, sin and do whatever the hell he wanted to do, man. Yeah. It, it's saying Hebrews, he was in all points uh, tempted without yeah. sin. So the same temptation, same thing that that everybody, all of us go through, the Lord was tempted just like that, but he resisted. That's right. And he's the example to follow. Yeah, so know? we're supposed to arm ourselves with the, with the same exact mindset. Mm -hmm. All right, seeing that we have, we're suffering in the flesh now, we're bearing our cross, we have to cease from sin. All mm -hmm. right, as we're going to get into the uh, the accounts of when Yahweh Shai told people to sin no more. Mm -hmm. All right, they were, they were doing, you know, uh, wickedness, all right, or doing sin, and then the Lord told them, sin no more, man. You know, mm -hmm. and then if those people really believe in Yahweh Shai, they're they're gonna fight their very best to sin less, to offend less, man. All right, instead of just being like these niggas and, and just go with and every avenue of their flesh, anything that feels good to them, they do it. You know, they brute beast. You know, they they go they go get they go with their instinct. But it says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. But to the will of Yahweh. So this is this is what we're doing now. We're living to the will of Yahweh by Shema al Shai. No longer to the no longer to the will of the flesh. No longer doing what what, what our minds tell us to do, lean to our own understanding. But we lean into the understanding of, of, of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shema al Shai, mm -hmm. which is going to lead to our salvation. If if the Lord have mercy upon us, we'd be a part of the elect. Mm -hmm. You got something? Kind of this first John three and four, because there's some more in that. It says, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And a hey, our nation, the Lord gave us the boot essentially because of our sins. Mm -hmm. You know, but the Lord being gracious and man, merciful, he sent his only begotten son to be the propitiation, the atonement for our sins to bring us back to the Lord, right? Sorry, sorry. And knowing that. You got these Christians say, oh, God, Jesus died for our sins. We, we, we can do whatever we want now. Then that, that uh, it makes no sense. Yeah. You're adding more to that, that debt, you know, if, you know, hyper, hyper you know, speaking. Right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, you're adding more to that, man. You're offending more. Yeah. As we're going to get into the Lord said, offend less, sin less. Yeah. Why, hey, Salak, yeah. like, why, why would the Lord live his life without sin, man? And live his entire life without sin, you know, and die for die for the sins of the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. just for us to just do whatever the fuck we want to do. Which is why it, we got in a position that we needed a savior anyway. So it, it's just gonna go back into the same cycle again. Mm -hmm. that, that shit makes no sense. Which shows that Christianity is nothing but a lie. It's nothing but BS, man. It's confusion, and it's scripture that the that the heavenly Father is not the author of confusion. That's right. It's first John three and five. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him is no sin. And if you say that you are a part of the body, which the body is Yahweh Shai, then you can't just be self-willed doing whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, whosoever abideth in him sin of not and whosoever sin of have not seen him, neither know him. So if you still live in a life predicated and dedicated to sin, you don't really know the Lord. You don't know his purpose. You don't know why he came. And you damn sure don't know the father. Yep. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. You see, in AA, we're judged righteous by having faith in the Lord. But that faith is coupled with, with, with works, how we conduct ourselves our everyday life. You know? That's right. Mm -hmm.
That's all. Yeah, that's all. Um, uh, this this wisdom of Solomon fifteen and one. That's a spirit. Okay, I'm sure you want to. No, nah, you got it. I'll read you break it down. This wisdom of Solomon fifteen and one. But thou, O God, art gracious and true, long suffering and in mercy, ordering all things. For if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power. But we will not sin, mm. knowing that we are counted thine. Exactly. Sorry. Like, hey, that's why I said in the first Peter four that he no longer live the uh, rest of his life. To the uh, lust of men, mm. but to the will of the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset of the elect, man. The elect, like, hey, no matter what the elect do, they the Lord's, man. The Lord mm -hmm. is dealing with them. He's pardoning them. He's justifying them. Mm -hmm. But since they know that, know that, hey, Lord, we will be at a number. We are the Lord's. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has a standard. We're going to upheld that, man. That's our husband. Mm -hmm. If he tell, he, hey, I want, my, I want my shit cooked like this. You can be a terrible cook, but damn, I'm, I'm trying to cook this. Shit. Right. Mm-hmm. He don't, he don't like it this way. I'm going right, to cook it again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep trying. He, I'm going to keep cleaning. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to work. But these niggas want to be, want to use that shit to sin. It says that, uh, shall we uh, um, sin that grace may abound? Rough you paraphrase. Mm -hmm. say, God forbid. So why the fuck <laughs> would we just go off? Niggas just go off. Hey, man, you know what? All right, Lord told me don't commit adultery. He's In the kingdom, you're not going to be doing none of this shit. But you're doing it now. Mm -hmm. Right, shit is folly, man. It's really right. of the flesh. Mm -hmm. That right. doesn't please the spirit. That that pleases the things of the flesh. Doing this wicked shit pleases the flesh and makes you feel good if you're a nigga. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now I got something back back on what you said. Fifteen and three. Come. It is wisdom of Psalm fifteen and three. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality. Mm. You know. Mm. So if you truly know the Lord, you're gonna do what's pleasing in His sight. Mm -hmm. and, and and doing and that you're gonna hey, do the law to the best of your abilities, of course, and that leads to immortality. That's right. You know, that's right. This is the book of Romans eight. Book of Book of Romans eight and verse verse five it says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh." All right. So just like the brother Tazawar was saying. You know, if you're if you're a nigger, if you're a nigger, I you love to, you know, feed the flesh, love to be wicked. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna mind the things of the flesh. You're gonna have fleshly thoughts. You're gonna do fleshly deeds, man. As it says, was that uh First Corinthians, the second chapter? Uh, the natural man is uh, the natural man is spiritually discerned. They don't understand the spirit. They don't understand righteousness, man. They think that oh, it feels good to me. Oh well, I, I should be able to do it. Yeah, sensual. What's that sensual? And sensual is uh, fleshy. Yeah. You know, uh, this worldly. You, you care about that, you know? Right. Instead of instead of caring about what's righteous, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and you and you uh, think like seven instances, the law, the law of a woman being uh, snatched up and being taken by a man, right? You know, a man will say, well, hey, uh, if a man does that, he deserves to get tortured. He deserves to get put to death and tortured. Well, the Lord didn't say that. Mm -hmm. That's not in the scriptures. That's not righteous. Yeah. The Lord said that that woman becomes that man's wife, mm -hmm. right? He cannot put her away. Yeah, that, that's being spiritual. It's yeah. Leaning not into your own understanding, but trusting in the words. Mm -hmm. That's being spiritual, you know? Right, because when a man takes a, woman, a woman's virginity, they become one flesh. Mm -hmm. They're one now, all right? You're not supposed to break break that up. And then if a man, uh, then, then if uh, that woman is given to another man, well, now that man that sleeps with her is committing adultery, mm -hmm. you know? So a hey, hey, the the law is perfect, man. The law is yeah. spiritual. That and that very act from one woman going to another man that leads to to, to pollution, man. The yeah. whole land to be polluted, which is what we see today. Yeah. You see, Time. this is the Lord. He have a controversy controversy with the inhabitants because the law is slack. Yeah. The reason this world is the way it is is because sin runs rampant in it, man. So why the why why would the Lord just be cool with you sinning? Nah, right. man. It describes to you that they that sin are enemies to their own life. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man, that's going to go perfect with this, and man. It, and it describes to you that uh, sin is a transgression of the, uh, of the law. Yep. And, and when sin is conceived, it brings forth death. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when you sin, it, it's a debt that got to be paid. And that's death, man. Yeah. You see? That's right. And this, this is why all, all that are in the flesh die. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you, can't, you can't beat it. All right, you in the flesh, you, you're going to do yeah. wickedness. You know, it says the wages of sin is death. Yep, you that's see, right. that's right. It says, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. 
So we we mind we think of the, we think of uh, things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, things that are pleasing to the spirit, man. We walk in the spirit to the best of our ability. You know, we don't walk according to according to our flesh, according to the to the uh, 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 to the world, man. Yeah. Because we've been saved by by Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, um, through the spirit. Yeah, Apostle Paul, he said, "No good thing dwelleth among flesh. Mm -hmm. Your flesh should be telling you to do these things that's contrary to the law, but a hey, your spirit." It's like, nah, the, the, those commandments come back to your head. Nah, the Lord is displeased in that. The Lord is pleasing me doing this. And best of our abilities, we, we do what's right. I got one to back you up real come. quick. It's 1 John 4 and 17. It, it says, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. That's right. You see? So the best of our abilities, we're, we're uh, mimicking the life of Yahweh Shai. So when the day of judgment does come, hey, we can come before the throne like, Lord, we, we, we to the best of our abilities, we follow the example. You yeah. know? Yeah. While the rest of the world is just, hey, they not even, they not even walking the path, you know? That's they it. going backwards, perverse, you know? They ain't even putting forth the effort. Yeah. A nigga loves to be wicked, man. That's the, uh, John the third chapter, 19 verse on down, man. These niggas love that wickedness. They love the flesh. Which is why they can't please Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. This is Romans 8 and verse 6. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. Alright, so to have a carnal mindset is death, man. Right, as a brother said, uh, um, uh, uh, those that sin, uh, what is it, endanger their own life? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, Bashem. Sure. This uh, <clears throat> Toby 12, and now it uh, started at 10. Toby 12 and 10, it says, But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Come Because as a brother, uh, your diet quoted that Romans the sixth chapter. All right, the ways of sin is death, man. That's why you're an enemy to your own life. All right, you sin, you you break the law, such commandments of your Shemal Shai. Now Shai. Now, now death awaits you, you know? Mm -hmm. Death awaits you, man. And whatever, whenever the Lord wants to bring that judgment, it's going to come. You know, and, it, and it's going to be a horrible, horrible judgment. All right, especially in these last days, man. You got a, a the worst times to ever live. You know, for the worst times to ever be wicked, because the Lord's about to bring the the a the Pandora's box, so to speak. He's about to unleash a, a all the plagues. You know, all the plagues, man. All of His wrath is about to be unleashed upon this place. You know, starting with Jacob's trouble on down to this place being ultimately ultimately destroyed by uh, thermonuclear missile fire, mm -hmm. which is a lake of fire, which is going to be a, a place where you're going to be tormented day and night. All right. Forever. Which means a very, very long time, man. Mm -hmm. I'm go back to this Romans. Finish this out. They got one more verse on it. Mm -hmm. This is Romans 8. Romans 8 and verse 7 says, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So if you come to serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, you have you have to be changed. Your mind has to be changed, man. You can no longer be living to, to the to the uh, to the lust of the flesh. Yeah. You know, you got to be changed. This is why Yahweh Shai would tell people we uh sin no more after he after he would uh, uh heal them, you know. Save them. He would say, hey, 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 sin no more, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell them, go, hey, hey don't, hey, oh, well, do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. No, don't sin anymore. Don't break the law of established commandments anymore. Yeah, it's true repentance the Lord seeks. He ain't looking just for, oh, I sin, let me go kill a dove. No, he, he wants he want you to uh, be renewed. Mm -hmm. This Colossians 3 and uh, verse 8, because mm -hmm. it's really speak about the old man. The old man is you before you knew the truth. When you come into the truth, you mortify the deeds of the flesh. You kill that old man and be renewed in the knowledge. Yeah. Can you start this, five? This Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5, it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Yep. Right? So you're supposed to hey, be done with these things, kill these things off. And also it's idolatry because the Lord command gave us straight commandment not to do these things. Yeah, and it all ultimately stems from you serving the idol, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the Lord didn't tell us to do this, so that means that it's coming from it's coming from something else. It's coming mm -hmm. from uh, idol, JC, Allah, yep. all these other guys, man, telling you you can 
You can uh, eat swine. You can, you know, uh, commit adultery. You know, you can have sex on the Sabbath. That's not that's not according to the righteousness of your Shai. That's of mm-hmm. Satan, man. That's right. Verse six, it says, for which things sake the wrath of the most high come upon the children of disobedience. Yep. So the scripture plainly told you that these people that's doing this. It's wrath coming for them. They bring it wrath upon themselves. Yeah. You see? Mm-hmm. It says, in the which ye also walk some time when ye lived in them. And at first Peter 4, it says, uh, you don't run to them with the same excess of wrath speaking of evil to you. Yep. Right? Because they we once partook in those things, but after receiving this knowledge, hey, you cut, you, you be done with those things. You meddle no more with those things. You sin less, as the Lord mm-hmm. said. That's right. Right? It says, verse uh, 8 but now he also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. You see, so you put off the old man. If you, was you, a, uh, if you ate a bunch of abominations in the world, you, re- you get the knowledge, you read the scripture, you read Leviticus. And you renew yourself. Yeah. You be renewed in your mind. You stop doing those things. If you're a serial adulterer in the world, you're no longer a serial adulterer in the truth. Right? If you're a murderer, then you yeah. no longer commit murder. Yeah. All right? Mm-hmm. That's putting off that old man. You see? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much the point. Yeah. Come I'm going to get this John. This John 5 and John 5 and 1. It says, after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Yahweh Shai went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, uh, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bet Bet Bes- Bet 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 Seda. Let me pull up real quick. Con. It's John 5, right? Yeah. 5 and yeah, Bethsaida, having five porches. Yeah, I'll read it. It's John 5 and 2. Now there is at Jerusalem by the, by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethsaida, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, Bethsaida, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Right. And that, and that also shows that the Lord, you know, he uses angels on the left hand side and the right hand side. You know, mm-hmm. that's right. It says, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. When Yahweh saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step of down before me, Yahweh I say unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Yeah. So the Lord healed him. Right? It says, And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. <laughs> you can read. Huh. It says, the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, it is the Sabbath day. Is it not lawful for thee to carry thy bed? Get on bullshit, Stupid man. Stupid niggas, man. He answered them, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee, take up thy bed and walk? So they asked him, who, who told you, you know, to get up and you know, walk, take up the bed and walk? It says, and he that was healed knew, which mean basically knew not who it was, for Yahweh had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Yahweh findeth him in the temple and saith unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon thee. Yep. So he, hey, he told him, lest a worse thing mm-hmm. come upon you. Hey, you, yeah. you was stricken with this disease 38 years. Mm-hmm. Couldn't walk. Yep, and sin is a form of judgment. I mean, what well, 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 these uh, these um judgments that we receive is from sin. Yeah, you see. So why would the Lord tell you it's fine for you to do all these things? No, it's a precept. I can't really think it, but it says um people are punished for their uh their uh punished for their uh sins, their iniquities. Not punished. I think uh, it's like is that Psalm. Solomon fifteen. 
I think it might be said fools for their iniquities are punished or something like that. No, 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 no. But they, people, you receive judgment. People are born with certain type of things as a result of sin. You see, but when the Lord found this man, he told him, like, look, don't sin no more. <laughs> unless yeah, a worse thing, unless a, a greater judgment come upon you. You got it? Right, I got it. Bro. This Psalms 107. Psalms 107 and 17. It says, Psalms 107 and 17, fools, yeah. because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. That's right. Mm. And, and the Lord will jack a person up for how they're living, how they're doing. Look at all these jakes that, that, that claim they're Christians, but they overweight, got different diabetic orders. Look at their fucking diet, man. Right. <laughs> they eating all manner of abomination. And, and second, and, and chiefly, the Lord told us not to do these things so you don't do them. And secondly, it's a reason as to why the Lord told you not to eat certain foods, not to do certain things. Because it, 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 if you do them, it's a negative effect that's going to happen, man. Mm -hmm. You see? So hey, that's, the, that's a, you know, a great precept, man. You, you receive judgment for how you and what you do, whether it be on the left hand or on the right hand. Mm -hmm. you know? if, you pour, if you pour fucking oil in your gasoline tank, then your car gonna be fucked up. You right. pour gasoline inside your oil in your engine, your car gonna be fucked up. So if mm -hmm. you do the exact opposite of what the Lord told us to do, we get America. Yep. We get a, a dystopia and not a utopia because in the kingdom, it's gonna be the exact opposite. All good things. Why? Because the law of commandments are gonna be prevalent, man. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the law of the earth, of the universe, of existence, man. Right. They're going to be written inside the uh, inward parts of the Israelites, and they ain't going to go up no more, and they're going to rule with, uh, um, it's going to be a tranquility. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be eating again, man. I done. It's going to be a paradise, and life is going to be true life, because right now, we're just existing, man. Uh -huh. You yeah. hear niggas always complain, always saying this, always saying that, but niggas want to go and establish their own righteousness. They want to, they want to be wicked and have the benefits of righteousness, and that yeah. does not happen, man. Yeah. And it's a cause and effect to everything, man. Mm -hmm. You be wicked, you die. Yeah. You know, it, it's that simple, man. You sin, you transgress the law, establish so commandments, you die. You are a sinner, you die, man. You know, but if you give your life to Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and you have a great chance of being of being delivered, you know, through the Lord's mercy, if you sin less, if you try your very best to walk as Yahweh Shai walked. That's the whole goal in this truth, man. To try to be like Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So if you niggas talking about, hey, I, I love, I love God, I believe in God. Well, if you love, if you love Him, right? Let me get this. Mm -hmm. But do things contrary to Him, you really don't know God. You yeah. know Jesus, right? You right. Know, <laughs> you know the Word G O D, but you don't know Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. which you is know? a goddamn idol, <laughs> a yeah. fucking yeah. mole. Yeah. Right. That's what right. JC is, man. Mm -hmm. Come as you are. Arms open as shit. That's his wine. That's his philosophy. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Your ass can be a mole and still be saved. <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Where is that in the scriptures, man? See, the thing is, you niggas don't read the Bible. You don't read the scriptures. Ooh. That's the thing. I'm going to get this real quick. Sirach 2 and verse 15 says, They that fear Yahweh will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. So if you claim that you love the Lord, you're going to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And Yahweh Shai even said that, man. You know, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. where, where is that? Where is that precept at in the Christian church? They don't read that. Mm -hmm. You know? New Testament, right, brother? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the New Testament. Yahweh Shai says sin no more That's in the New Testament. You know? So what, what do you, what do you, what, what the fuck? Like, hey, as I say, these people don't read because they don't know what sin is. Mm -hmm. They think that sin is something that makes you feel bad. Someone hurting, hurting your feelings. They're mm -hmm. sinning against you. People mm -hmm. are fucking stupid, man. It says their fear of me is taught uh, by the com uh, commandment or doctrine of men. Yeah. You know, but hey, that's why you don't lean into your own understanding or anybody's misinterpretation. You got to listen to the true prophets and you got to read the book. Yeah. The Lord tells you what he delights in and what he doesn't delight in. and tell you he gives you straight commandment on uh, how to avoid punishment. You know, I got a quick one though. Uh -huh. It's 1 Corinthians 6 and 8. In this New Testament, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Mm. <laughs> so, shit, if, if you could just sin, so who, that, what makes you unrighteous? All right? If right. you could just freely sin and, and all sin is forgiven, see, it's, it's whole. So, who the fuck is it? Mm-hmm. It's a, a free-for-all. Yep. 
It says, "Know ye and how do you, right? Yeah, yeah. It says, no, no, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Mm. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, yep, which is more activity, mm-hmm. man on man, you know, nor thieves, nor covetous." That's a lot. Mine kind of cut off. We'll make sure I ain't, oh, missing, I ain't missing nothing out of that. Uh, uh, the verse 9? After, nine, after they say mankind, that was it? Yeah, that was it. It says, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah. You see? So, hey, these are what's written within the commandment. You can't do it. can't be an idolater. can't be a fornicator. You can't be a, a reviler, extortioner, abuser, or effeminate. All right? But according to Christianity, come as you are. You can do yeah. all these things and still make it to the kingdom. And they do all of those things. <laughs> they, they, you motherfucker, walk around with a cross around your neck, praying, praying to, holding the cross, kissing praying, kissing it, blunt in your mouth. You know, yeah, 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 with a blunt in your damn mouth, putting the, doing the goddamn uh, what the Elder Malcolm called it, the the death uh, mark. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you put the cross on your. Well, yeah. I, I don't even know how the fuck them people do that shit. I yeah, don't yeah. know. I mean, you know, they, you know, they you they them put a cross yeah. on their body. Yeah. Up down to and yeah. yeah, an instrument of death. A cross is, is used to kill, man. Mm-hmm. It is not a representation of our Lord. Mm-hmm. You fucking stupid, dumb fucks. Mm-hmm. Hey, like like um brothers would say, you know, uh, early on the truth. Yeah. Hey, would you would you wear if, if if your brother got killed, would you get a gun Glock by, 19 yeah, by gun <laughs> and put a Glock around your neck? Yeah, yeah. This is to represent my brother. Hey, niggas, niggas, niggas smoke tuka, right? The niggas, the niggas who um all right, Tuka was a nigga, a game banging nigga in Chicago who got killed or whatever, right? And now niggas mock him, saying we smoking him, smoking Tuka. Mm-hmm. The niggas who who's his family, they don't say that. Yeah. They don't say I'm smoking Tuka to to be in commemoration to Tuka. They don't fucking do that because mm-hmm. they know that that shit is is off. They know that that shit is a fucking diss. Mm-hmm. To wear a cross is a diss to Yahweh Shai. And notice all the people that that wear those. Hey, these are the same uh, people that we talking about. They don't really know the Lord, mm-hmm. you know. And you go into how they act and how they think, it is totally against the scriptures, man. It, it, that's why it's fitting that they wear those uh, different uh, marks. You yeah, kind because they idol worshippers. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the Lord is going to destroy all these people, as as I said. You are not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. You got some? I said I'm on that Romans eight. Right? Oh shit! All right, all right, Con. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We go back there. I was just gonna go Oh yeah, Khan, Tawada, bro. Yeah, you definitely get that James too. Oh yeah, Khan. Khan. Yeah, I started uh <laughs> I started twelve. Because Romans Khan. eight and twelve says says therefore brethren Oh yeah. So we, I can't Khan. Yeah, this Romans eight and twelve says, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye he shall die. Him. So if you live in the flesh, you should die, man. Yeah. Point blank, period. Anything of the flesh, it says the flesh is contrary to the spirit, man. Mm-hmm. Anything that's pleasing to the flesh, and that goes against the Lord, man. And what? And, and there's always some overly wicked ass shit that a nigga want to do and try to justify that shit, man. Mm-hmm. Say a sinful man won't be reproved. Yep. But uh, uh, found an excuse according to his will. Yeah. So a nigga would be like, man... Pookie up the corner, he said, just sold me this rock, bro. What the to be him. You ain't even do this, that, and the third, like, nigga, but you're smoking it, bro. Yeah. Why yeah. the fuck can't you just address that you a nigger and get better? Right. Because you a fool. Yep. The sin came in his mind. It was like, yeah, go bad. And he went and acted on it. Exactly. Yeah, he thinking about the pleasures that it's going to bring. Yeah. How, how good it's going to feel, what that has going to feel like, you know. Mm-hmm. Damn, man, I can't do this. You know, you come across a prophet. Damn, I can't do this. It's like a nigga... You know, we tell a nigga, hey, you can't get landers, bro. Oh. Hey, well, I mean, I can't I can't even like like shape it up a little bit, like put a little no, you can't, no. Well, I can't nigga every fuck he gonna keep asking you trying to find a way to 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 line himself up, man. No, you just can't do it. It's that simple. There's no loopholes in this truth, there's no loopholes with with the Lord. He say, don't do it, you don't fucking do it. It's that simple, man. Mm-hmm. We don't need a science behind it. It doesn't matter. Oh, why, why, why do we not wear mixed fabrics? Because the Lord said, "Don't do it." It's a science behind it, of course. But the Lord said, "Don't do it." It's that simple. Mm-hmm. You niggas just wicked, man. Mm-hmm. 
It says, but if ye through the spirit do mortify, which means kill, mm -hmm. the deeds of the body, ye shall live. So, hey, this completely shows that it's the exact opposite of what you niggas think. Yeah. Hey, a nigga, niggas don't really believe in that so-called Christianity or any of the shit they believe in, man. A nigga just wants to feel good and justify his wickedness. So if he be like, all right, man, they nah. use the Bible, they justify my wickedness. I can Damn. be a more, my pastor a more. Yeah. Shit, my 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 uh, baby mom in the church, she gonna clap by the past by the deacon. This done the third. These niggas wicked so shit. I'm just I'm gonna tell the drugs get ten for tap to the pastor. Yeah, <laughs> young dumb shit, man. But that hey, <laughs> nigga did say. Yeah, that nigga did. Well, he ain't. That nigga dead. dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's what these they, these niggas trying to justify their wickedness so they can die with so called peace of mind. But ain't no peace to the wicked, man. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna grab this, James. This is James 2. Let me see. Yeah, James 2 and 15. It says, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one no, of... No, 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 no. Start up at uh, uh, 14. Hey, 14. 14? Hey, Con. 14. This is uh, James 2 and 14. It says, what doth it profit my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? Mm -hmm. So what, what does it profit a man say, oh yeah, I have faith, I believe in, in, in God. Mm -hmm. You know, can that alone save you? Right. It says, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and feel. Right. And, and the apostle, <laughs> he, he say, look, say, say a, a brother or a sister, they need some food. You tell them go go be filled. You go be full, but you don't do what they need yeah, to fool hungry. them. Even Shit, is they gonna be good? Yeah, what what profit does it say in lip service? Mm -hmm. Right. It says notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. So you, what doth it profit? Mm -hmm. So you 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 give them what they need. You had that charity, that that love, that affection, and one, and you actually do something. Right. You do a deed. You do a work, mm -hmm. right? It says 17, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So a man may say, you know, I love the Lord and I know the Lord, but if you're not doing the things that the Lord commanded you, you really don't know the Lord. Mm -hmm. And your faith is, is, is incomplete. Yeah. It mm -hmm. says, yea, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works. And the Apostle James, he said, look, I'm going to show you that I love the Lord and I know the Lord by how I live my life. Yep. How, how my everyday, as the scriptures say, what manner of conversation ought ye have, seeing that the Lord is going to destroy this place. All right? So the same thing goes with, with, with people that claim they have faith. It's going to be backed up with how you're living, your everyday conduct. All right? It says, thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? And this mm -hmm. is the New Testament once again. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son up upon the altar? Then they give you the example of Abraham. He believed the most high was accounted unto righteousness. And when it came down to him, actually working that work, which... He did. He offered up Isaac, right? Yep. He, he was made perfect, as yeah. it says. Yeah, because he had faith. He believed that the Lord could have could have raised Isaac up. Mm -hmm. You know? And he uh, he went he went forth in that knowing that a uh, Yahweh Shem Al Shai is all powerful. He truly believed in the Lord, which mm -hmm. is why he went to perform that work. You know, put mm -hmm. Isaac on that altar and was uh, actually about to put him to death until the Lord stopped him, you know, through the angel. Mm-hmm. It says, seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture fulfilled, which say of Abraham believed the Most High, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Mm -hmm. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. And that's the New Testament. <laughs> right? So you need, you need both. If you have faith, that faith is going to lead you to live a certain life. If you're just doing it, it says anything that's not done in faith is sin. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, likewise, also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. Yeah. It says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith mm -hmm. without works is dead also. That's right. You see? Yep. And hey, the, the uh, harlot Rahab, she moved, she moved in faith. 
Yep. You know, doesn't mean that she's she's an Israelite for you dummies. She's not an Israelite, you know, but that she's an example of one having faith. I believe the uh, the report of the spies said, that, hey, we we're going to uh, protect you in your household if you don't read us out, mm-hmm. you know, and that came to pass and her household didn't fall. Well, that was uh, the time of Jericho, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of Jericho. You know, her house didn't fall, man. <laughs> so that, that, that showed um, a, a point of faith. You know, but I want to get this, uh, this second Ezra, this second Ezra is nine and second Ezra is nine and seven. Uh-huh. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So you're going to be saved by works and faith. You can't have one without the other. You can't have works and say that you don't uh, believe in the Lord, which is just madness. You can't say that you uh, have faith in the Lord and don't have works, which that is madness, mm-hmm. you know, because if you say that you believe in the Lord, you're going to show that you, that you believe in him. And if mm-hmm. I say, Hey, Hey, Hey man, I love, I love, uh, 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 anime. I love anime and I never watched the anime a day in my life. You don't fucking love anime. Mm-hmm. You know, if you say that you love the Lord, you never, and you break every law, such commandment, you do everything that is contrary to his righteousness. You hate him, mm-hmm. you know, and you will not be saved. Because mm-hmm. hey, it has to be both, man. You can't have one without the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it. So, hey, if you believe, you got to be going out in the highways and bad ways. You got to be doing these lessons. You got to be uh, 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 abstaining from the works of the flesh. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you if know? you say you love somebody, how how they going to know you love them if you don't, if it's not something that you're doing? Right. Just say, oh, I love them. I love my kids. But then you don't, you don't feed them. You don't take <laughs> care of them. You don't do shit for their ass. You don't love them then, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a work. It's a work that shows uh, how you truly feel, man. Mm-hmm. And that's why love is an action. Love working no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Right. A action. You saying, hey, man, I, I love my, I love my brothers. You, you, you fucking his wife though. Right. How the fuck you love that man? That he asked you for help. You, you turn your phone off and shit. You playing the game? Yeah. yeah. Right. Love, nigga. Fucking nigga. I go, like, man, that's like, hey, your ass could go to the gym, awesome. motherfucking, seven days a week, being that motherfucker for two hours, but if your ass ain't eating, you ain't getting swole. Yeah. Or if, uh-huh. vice versa, if you eating, you ain't in the gym, you, your ass gonna get the exact reverse effect of what your ass want. Your ass gonna be fat. That's right. I'm reverse eight. It says, uh, second address nine and eight, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation and my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them. For me from the beginning, right, which is the elect. And it's all about predestination as well. You know, you know, the Lord is only dealing with his elect. All right. And those who, who are of the elect, they're going to have works. They're going to have works coupled with their faith. They're not going to sin anymore, man. They're going to they're going to try their very best to not be wicked. You know, unlike these wicked niggas who just go on in their flesh and do whatever they want to do. Uh-huh. You got that. I'm sorry. That's all I got. Khan, so hey, hey, we pray this lesson was edifying. We would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chakodash, Shalom, Kwam Yashra'ala, Wa Abad Babal. Abad Babal, Kwam Yashra'ala.